Okay, I hope everybody had a great Easter break. Hopefully you guys are ready to go and we're ready to work on your math problems, which is what we're going to do today. Remember that this week, starting on April 13th through the 17th, we are going to be working with conversions, all right? And today's assignment Monday, April 13th, will focus on converting length and also on your assignments for today for converting length and converting uh, problems over capacity you will be working on or using the math star chart or grade 5 math reference materials chart to help you to answer the questions to help you to convert the problems meaning that you're going to be focusing on these two parts length and you're also going to be focusing on volume and capacity right there at the bottom okay let me go ahead and go over the rules real quick under the customary system because that is what we will be working on all right and uh also the metric will look let's look at the length on the customary first remember that one mile equals 1760 yards right below that we have one yard equals three feet below that we have one foot equals 12 inches in the metric side we have one kilometer equals 1000 meters one meter equals 100 centimeters and one centimeter equals 10 millimeters now let's look uh, carefully at the volume and capacity of units first rule says that one gallon equals four quarts one quart equals two units right below that one pint equals two cups then we have one cup equals eight units and one liter equals 1000 milliliters under the metric system all right so let's go ahead and move on to our problems under the Pearson practice sheet. And uh, in the assignment, you were paying attention to instructions, and that's what you really need to do is make sure you look at the instructions carefully because a lot of you keep asking me, sir, what problems do we do, or what numbers do we do, or what page is it supposed to, are we supposed to be doing? And the instructions, either under the stream tab or under the classwork tab, you'll find what problems to do. In this particular assignment you were supposed to do problems 9 through 14 only okay so that's what i'm going to help you to do i'm going to focus on those problems only for this now if you want to practice a little bit more on the other problems you go ahead and you have more power to your right so let's go ahead and get started first we want to convert number nine says to convert the problem says to convert three yards into a certain amount of inches if you remember in class i taught you that there are five uh, basic steps Step number one is identifying what unit you're converting to what, which is what the problem is telling you. Step number two is go ahead and look for the rule that you will be needing to convert, in this case, yards to inches. So I'm gonna go right back. And since it's converting again, yards to inches, I'm looking for the rule that focuses on converting yards to inches. And if you look carefully right there, actually this one requires two rules, right? Let me look at, highlight that section for you real quick or circle it you will not need these rules right here okay you will need what we called in class the Z rule right we, we go from yards to feet feet and then to inches right that's what we call it the Z because we're gonna require two rules so those are the two rules that we need in class so I want to go back and uh, remember one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches so I'm gonna go right back to my problem one more time and uh, we said that the problem was asking you to convert three yards into a certain amount of inches right and then number two we needed those those two rules uh, to make the z we needed we said that one yard equals three feet and we also needed the other rule which says that one foot equals 12 inches we need both the third step is asking yourself are you converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit or is it the other way from smaller to uh, larger in this case we're converting yards to inches and yards are bigger or greater than inches so we're converting from large to small do you remember what operation we used when we convert from large to small do we multiply or do we divide so in this case, if we're converting from large to small, we're going to multiply. Step number four, go ahead and multiply what we said. We're going to multiply starting with the problem in steps one and two, the numbers there. We're going to multiply three 
times what was the rule and uh, what was the number in the first rule it was three feet times what was the number in the second rule of course we're not going to use one right because anything to one is the same number so we're going to be using the second number so it's times 12 and that should give us our answer obviously in class i told you make sure you multiply you take it by steps right you're going to multiply first three times three and then that you're going to multiply it times 12 and that should give us our answer for step number five so what's three times three well three times three is nine and what's nine times twelve well that's one hundred eight so therefore our answer for number nine is one hundred eight inches all right if you need to write this down hopefully you are writing it down you will pause the video real quick and then write this down otherwise i'm gonna keep moving all right let me go ahead and go to number 10 now on number 10 the first step is to write down what your com what unit you're converting to what in this case it's 24 feet equals a certain amount of yards what's step number two well let's go back to our chart real quick i have to rewrite that again but no worries and we're again in our problem we're converting feet to yards right so we're going to go to our chart and we're going to look for the rule that converts feet to yards and in this case we have the rule right here under the customary system we have one yard equals three feet so we need to make sure we use that rule for our problem let's go back and let's go ahead and write that down again so we were converting 24 feet equals a certain amount of yards that's step one step number two is the rule that we need the conversion rule we set that one yard equals three feet we got that from our chart step number three are we converting from larger unit to the smaller unit where in this case we're converting from feet to yards we know that the feet are smaller units so therefore we're converting from small to large so what operation do we use we use division remember from small to large it's division from the larger unit to the smaller unit is multiplication step number four let's go ahead and multiply the number in our step one and step two we're going to no, i'm sorry not multiply but divide we're going to get 24 which is the number in step one divided by the number in step two which is three feet that should give us the number of yards for our problem and hopefully you know that 24 divided by three is eight yards which is the same thing as three times eight equals 24 fact families which is what we study also in class so our answer is that 24 feet are going to be equal to eight yards or convert it into eight yards all right again pause it to write it down and let's continue with problem number 11. on number 11 we're looking at converting two miles into a certain amount of feet let's go back real quick to our chart and let's see if we can find a rule that can convert directly miles into feet and you'll see that there is not right so in this case you see that there are actually two rules that you will be needing you're going to need these two right here and we're going to practice the z strategy right well we can we use a rule one mile equals 1760 yards and one yard equals uh three feet we need those two rules right so let's go ahead and uh go back to our problem there are two rules and let's go ahead and write that down here for number one we said that we need to convert two miles into x amount of feet we need the two rules we're going to use a z strategy we're going to convert one mile into 1760 yards and then we need to convert the yards into a certain amount of feet which is three feet right three feet there we go step number three are we converting the a larger unit to a smaller unit or a smaller unit to a larger unit well miles are larger than feet so therefore we're converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit so the operation that we need is multiplication step number four 
we're going to write down the numbers we're going to multiply the numbers that we need in order to make our conversion and we're going to use steps one and two to do that we're going to multiply two times the number in the first rule which is 1760 yards that should give us an answer and then that answer we're going to multiply times rule number two which is three and that should give us our answer in step number five so what's two times 1760 just to go over really quick our answer there is going to be um, 3,560 okay and then what do we say we're going to do with that product well that was the first number sentence so 3,520 we're going to multiply it times 3 and that should give us our answer right so 3,000 let me go ahead and write that down over here at the bottom 3,520 times 3 let's multiply together 3 times 0 is 0 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1, and 3 times 3 is 9, plus the 1 that you carry is 10. So therefore, in this case, for number 5, the answer is 10,560, what? Feet, because that's what we wanted. 10,560 feet. Okay, let's go ahead and go to number 12, and hopefully you're starting to understand what to do, I remember we did a couple conversion problems in class before we uh, before we went home because of this pandemic. So hopefully this is making sense to you. We're looking at number 12. And this time we're looking at step number one again. We're converting 56 feet into a... Now notice that 12, 13, 14 are saying that now you're not just going to convert to one unit, but actually you have to end up with a certain amount of feet, right? now or or there's going to be some unit left be over or behind so that's what they're saying is they're saying okay well we're going to end up converting 56 feet into a certain amount of yards but there are going to be some feet left over okay so let's go ahead and get going we need the rules we're trying to convert feet to yards we already used this rule and i believe in problem number two we said that the rule was one yard equals three feet we don't need to use this, the Z rule because we're converting directly f uh, the feet to yards, which is a rule that we have in our math chart. If you want to check, go ahead and check in your math chart that I uh, gave you. Which, by the way, remember, I did it. I did attach this uh, math chart on your both. Uh, I'm sorry, under your classwork assignment with your practice sheet. So please make sure that you open it. Print it out if you can. If not, work on it on the screen and open it. Make sure that you do it, all right? Or use it to work out the problems, just like I'm doing. All right, so we set the one yard equals three feet. So in this case, we're going to, uh, are we convert? Step number three says, are you going to convert from the larger unit to the smaller unit? Well, we're converting from, into, from feet to yards. So therefore, we're converting the smaller unit to the larger unit. So what do we do? We divide, right? Number four, we're going to use uh, numbers in step one and two to, uh, with our, along with our division to solve our problem. So therefore, uh, number one, we're going to divide 56 by the number rule number two, which is three. And remember, we never divide by one because that would kind of be defeating the purpose. You're going to end up with the same number anyways. So what's 56 divided by three? Well, that's what's going to give us a number of yards plus a couple of feet left over. Let's try that. Let's go ahead and work it out here at the bottom, or let's do it on the side over here, because that's going to give us our answer to step number five, right? So it's going to be 56 divided by three. How many groups of three can you make with five? One. One times three gives you three. Find the difference for five, and that gives you two. Bring down the six. How many groups of three can you make with 26? Well, if you remember your facts correctly, eight times three gives you a number close to 26, which would be 24. And 26 minus 24 is two. We can't divide to any further by three because it's smaller than your uh, divisor so that must mean that and remember you have to remember this 18 remember what are we trying to convert to? Well, we're trying to convert to yards so whatever's left over or the remainder must be feet that are left over so the answer is 18 yards two feet and that's the answer to number five step number five 18 yards and two feet Okay, 
again pause it if you need to just make sure that you if you need to have problems with the division just go back and rewind and you should be able to go over it again okay let's go ahead and go on to problem number 13 now let's go ahead and erase that and start all over this time we've got a number 13 we've got we're converting 12 feet 6 inches into a certain amount of inches so in this case now we're going to convert those feet into inches then add the extra 6 inches to it because well inches are inches right you're going to add them so that's step number one step number two is we need the rule and I believe that we already used this rule also um, um, no we didn't but if you go back to your chart you will see that the rule that you need is one foot equals 12 inches step number three uh, are we converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit or vice versa well, in this case we're converting feet to inches right so we're going to since we're converting from feet to inches feet feet being the larger unit we're going to convert from the larger unit to the smaller unit and what do we do when we convert the smaller unit i'm sorry the larger unit to the smaller unit we divide right okay we're going to divide the numbers in step number one by the number in step number two um and in this case it's uh i'm sorry i made a mistake i'm <laughs> i'm already thinking ahead to the uh, next problem yeah uh, we're converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit, right so in this case we don't divide it i'm sorry my bad my i'm thinking wrong we're going to multiply right so therefore we're going to multiply 12 which is the number in the first rule times 12 which is the number in the second step right first step second step i mean so what's 12 times 12 well we should know by now but whatever the product is remember that we still have to add six inches to it because that's what's going on in our problem on step number one right the purpose of multiplying times 12, 12 times 12 is saying okay we've got 12 feet and 12 inches in each of those feet how many inches do we get plus you have to add the six extra inches that you started off with on the side okay so let's go ahead and solve that problem we said that what's 12 times 12 well we said that 12 times 12 is 144 plus the six inches that you had still well that gives you the answer what's 144 plus 6 that's 150 inches all right very good let's continue last problem number 14 again we've got six inches in equals a certain amount of feet step number one in the conversion uh strategy is write down the problem what are you converting what to what six inches into a certain amount of feet right step number two what rule do we need what conversion rule do we need well if you go back again to your uh, to your conversion rule we said that we were converting inches to feet and this is the same rule that we used in a previous problem it's right there right one foot equals 12 inches like we said before let's go ahead and go back to our problems again let me go ahead and rewrite that one more time step number one it's six inches into a certain amount of feet step number two we're, com we're using the rule or the conversion rule one foot equals 12 inches step number three are we converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit or the smaller unit to the larger unit well inches are smaller than feet so we're converting from the small smaller unit to the larger unit and if that's the case what are we going to do with this particular problem well, we're going to divide step number four we're going to get the number rule no in step number one divided by the number in number two which is the rule six divided by 12 which gives us an answer <gasps> uh oh so what do we do here how can we divide six by 12 well the question is you got to make sure that you want you got to visualize that right remember that one foot this is one foot is the same thing as what 12 inches right so if we were to label it the halfway point would be six so what in reality are we saying here well we're saying that 
six inches is actually half of one foot right because okay, that's what the visual shows correct let me go ahead and raise that hopefully you understood that if not i'm going to show it to you by dividing the six by the 12 uh, or you know what i'll just write it over here so what we just finished saying is that six is half of 12 so technically what we're saying is that the answer is half right or if you run it, uh, express it as a fraction, it would be 1 over 2. If you want to express it as a decimal, it would be 0 0.5. Because 0 0.5 is the same thing or equal to 1 half. Let's demonstrate that by dividing actually the 6 by the 12. Right? Okay, so uh, can we make a group of 12 with 6? No, of course not. So what do we have to do? Well, in class we talked about this. We had a decimal and a 0, right? Before you do any division, you make sure you move your decimal to the top. And, of course, we said that we could not make a group of 6 with 12, so we put a 0 there. 0 times 12 is 0. Find the difference from 6, and you get 6. Bring down that extra 0 that you brought down. Don't forget that that decimal needs to go up. And then you ask yourself, how many groups of 12 can you make with 60? Well, if you remember your facts correctly, we said that 12 times 5 equals 60, right? Find the difference from your 60, and that gives you 0. So that's what we're saying, is that uh, 6 is half of 12 so therefore it has to be equal to 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 so that would be step number 5 step number 5 is that our answer is 0 0.5 or 5 tenths of a foot or half a foot hopefully that makes sense to you 1 over 2 alright guys that will uh, conclude uh, this YouTube video hopefully it helped don't forget to watch your videos and go ahead and do your actual problems you want to practice a little bit more go for it before you take your uh, quick check okay